Hello there my friends, welcome back to the channel I'm Mr Monday today. We're going to be doing something crazy. Would you believe it's another Cooking with Monday? And we're going to be reviewing Pastor Evangelists. Yeet! Yes, Pastor Evangelists is what we're going to be reviewing today. It's another pasta kind of a subscription meal. Make your own meals. Do it yourself, you lazy bastard. Kind of a meal service. And we're going to be taking a look. I've got the book right here. Now, unlike the previous pasta subscription service that we took a little cheeky look at, uh, this one has so many meals available per week that they have to send you a book to kind of uh, tell you what they all are. And they have uh, the cooking instructions for each dish inside as well. Yes, it's Pastor Evangelists. And these guys were absolutely railed on Dragon's Den um, when they applied for some money. Uh, I guess the dragons were like, well, we can just do it ourselves. We don't need to invest in your company. But they recently sold their uh, their company for quite for 40 million quid uh, to a, a big old pasta conglomerate. Who knew that pasta had conglomerates? But it does, and now they own this. So let's see what it's all about. Let's uh, let's make some pasta. Woo! All right, here's what we're making today. It's uh, a bucatini al amatri. With smoked pancetta. That's what it's going to look like. Totally. Uh, and, and we've got the cooking instructions here. Store at five degrees or below. Consume or freeze on the day of delivery or the day after delivery. I've not done that, so it might taste like crap. But uh, we'll find out. Alright, the first thing he wants us to do is uh, put the pasta on a wooden board and separate any strands that may have stuck together. A wooden board... What am I, bloody made of money? I've got a plastic board here, which I'm sure will be just as good. And let's uh, get into the pasta. Okay. Any strands that may have stuck together. We want to get rid of them. We want to destroy sticking together strands. Uh, you know, they do look pretty, they look pretty all right. They, they, they seem to be fine. I don't think that was really necessary. Oh, stringy. Well, let's get some water on the boil and chuck this naughty, naughty pasta inside. Arrgh! Oh, it's about to boil, a, boil up a storm. Let's wait for that to happen. As the water has finished boiling now, you can stop contemplating all of the mistakes you've made in life and pop in the pasta, which I have grabbed. And here it goes. In you go, boy. In you go. Come on, boy. In you go. A little bit more. Just a little tad. Come on. You can make it. Oh, it's all in. It's all in there, which means now is the time to say, Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes. Starting now. Oh, we're ready to rock, my friends. We're ready to make some pasta. It's really getting going now, so we'll let that cook for four minutes. And while it's doing that... Whilst it's doing that, we're going to pop this sauce, whoa, this sauce, in a pan. Now, the, uh, the box does say that uh, the risk of dismaying the good people of Amatrice, though, they substitute pancetta instead of guanciale, which we had in the previous one, um, which is pork cheek, actually, I've discovered. But they've substituted, uh, they've substituted pancetta. Fucking heathens. Heathens, I tell you. Anyway, let's get this cooking. Oh dear. And obviously what you wouldn't want to do like a moron is forget to turn down the heat slightly so that the pasta doesn't boil over like a madman. <laughs> okay, we'll uh, pop the sauce in, taking care to squeeze out all of the sauce from the packet, which I always find insanely difficult. Like why, 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 can't, why can't packages like this just be simple and easy? But it's totally fine. You know, there's no need to, there's no need to fret. We can get it all out, mostly at least. You can see the lovely chunks of uh, bits, bits and bobs in there. All right, let's just squeeze the rest out. Oh God, there's, there's still so much sauce in here. That'll be totes fine, that'll be totes fine, guys. Totes, totes fine there. We also have to add into the pot with the sauce, which I forgot last time, because I'm an idiot is like a tablespoon of the uh, 
of the pasta water for some for some unknown reason. But so let's just chuck that in there. I guess it helps it cook. That's about a tablespoon. All right, and let's uh, cook that up while the pasta is continuing to cook nicely now. No, none of that crazy boiling over nonsense. Oh, crazy. Absolutely insane. Anyway, they're both cooking. So uh, let's continue with the pasta. You know, four minutes always seems like a very short amount of time, but uh, pasta's in there. Oops, let's not, let's not singe the thing. Uh, pasta's back in there now, and we just gotta add the sauce in a second when it's nice and warm. Then we'll be ready to rock with some cheesy business. All right, the sauce is nice and warmed up now. Look at that, lovely. All right, pasta here, sauce here, boom. In it goes. Fuck, beautiful. All right, let's, uh, let's get that mixed up. Toss to coat. Uh, how do you toss? I mean, I'm used to being a tosser, but not like they say. <laughs> let's just stir it. We'll stir it up to get it coated in there. Now, I've got to be honest, I did very much try and squeeze all of the sauce out, uh, but it definitely doesn't look as bloody saucy as the picture there does. But I'm sure it might be saucy enough. We will have to find out, won't we? All right, well, there we are, coated in the sauce. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's uh, get it into a bowl. Into the bowl. Nice and lovely. And make sure to get the sauce out as well. Well, the sauce doesn't stick to the pasta all that well. So uh, be sure to, to grab that out as well. All in there, looking nice. And then of course we have to add the old cheese. Oh, it does smell very smoky though, lovely. Again, it's a massive pot of cheese. I mean, how much cheese do these people think pasta genuinely requires? It also kind of looks like the wrong type of cheese compared to what's on the, oh, blimey, I've just not lobbed it all on there, haven't I? Well, let's mix it up. It looks like a different type of cheese than what's in the actual picture here. But, uh, well, it'll add to the flavour, doesn't it? I guess it doesn't really matter how the cheese looks. It's how the cheese tastes. All right, there's the picture. That's how it's supposed to look. Uh, Bucatini al amatriciana with smoked pancetta. And here's what it really looks like. Uh, not as much sauce at all. Uh, I feel like I could have done with... Uh, Two, two, two bags of that sauce, to be honest. But I guess the, uh, the, 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 the proof of the pudding is in the tasting of the pasta. So let's, let's give it a quick little, uh, let's give it a quick little taste. Ah, pasta deliciano. I've got too much here on my fork. So I'm just gonna look like a moron trying to eat it. But let's, uh, let's go, let's try and eat it. Let's give it, let's give it a taste. Obviously it's gonna be ruddy hot because I've just, I've just, I've only just made it, lads. I love it. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, very interesting. Uh, there's a smoky taste. You can definitely taste the, 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 the pancetta there. Uh, the cheese adds a very kind of slight edge to it, I would say. Um. Again, for the money, I'll pop up on the screen now how much how much this costs. I think it's something again like seven pounds per portion, um, which is a lot for pasta because you can obviously just walk down to Morrison's and get get your pasta fresh as well. But this was made, you know, the day before the day before you make the pasta, completely the freshest pasta you're going to get. I really think it could do with a lot more sauce. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It feels like there's not enough sauce here, <laughs> but it's delicious. Nonetheless, really tasty actually. Well, there we have it. Another Cooking with Monday is complete. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I, I, I really enjoyed that pasta, to be honest. I really do think they over, like they oversell with these pictures, these high contrast, like saucy as hell pictures. Oh, a bit saucy, but there's too much sauce in the picture. It's not what you get. Again, and the contrast, stop adding the contrast. I know it makes it look beautiful in the picture, but then you're disappointed when what you make doesn't, doesn't look the same. I think that's a, a mistake that a lot of like uh, make from home kits uh, kind of fumble into, unfortunately, which is a shame um, because it really is tasty. It's a bit expensive for what it is, I think. Again, like uh, pasta for seven quid, blimey. Dolmio, Dolmio, I got that in the, in the, in the can. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think uh, it's a, for a rare treat, 
it is uh, fantastic uh, to be able to to be able to kind of have that kind of taste of Italy, uh, in my opinion. And uh, with the first order, they were giving away a uh, a, a parole, uh, uh cocktail kit, which I've already enjoyed. I'm sorry to say. And now I think they're giving away two different cocktails when you join for the first time. Video is not sponsored. I bought it myself because I wanted to try it. Let me know what you thought down below and uh, let me know if there's any food uh, kits that you'd like me to try out here. I'm a crappy chef and I usually make mistakes so it's a very good indicator of how uh, how bad things can go with these meal kits when I make it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and uh, I know these videos are a bit different from what I usually make but I think it's nice to have some variety right? Thank you yes thank you so much for watching. Wow pasta. I'll do something that's not pasta in the next Cooking with Monday. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought down below. Hit that notification bell uh, to be notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you, my friends, in a couple of days' time. Bye for now.